This is Her Confidence Her Way Podcast, episode 41. Are you feeling not confident? Are you telling yourself, no, you're not good enough? You know you can do more. And you know you're better than who you are right now. Ladies, it's not time for you to give up on who you are. Welcome to Her Confidence Her Way podcast. I am Emiko Rasmussen, a confidence building coach and host of this podcast. Each week, I will bring you guests or lessons that will help you to break through your limiting beliefs, fears, and barriers so that you can start building your own confidence and do what you really want to do without worrying about someone else's opinion. We all have a gifted talent that no one can copy, and we're here to let our talent shine. So don't limit yourself. Are you ready to begin your confidence breakthrough journey and discover your true self? Let's go. Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. I love learning and I love reading about self help, female leadership, and any professional development books. But I'm a mom of two, and I'm also a full time working mom. And I got no time to sit down and enjoy some tea and read in a quiet room. Lucky me, I found Audible and I'm loving it. And I have been a user for over a year now. And I just cannot live without it now. You can listen to your favorite book during your commute, while you're cooking, cleaning, or folding your laundry at home. Or even while you're working out. For you, yes, you, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30 day trial to get you the opportunity to check out their service. Get a free Audible download and 30 day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash the real global voice, or you can go to my website and click on the Audible 30 days trial. I love free stuff, and you should definitely try it. Hey, ladies, how are you doing? And welcome to Her Confidence Her Way podcast. First, I would like to say thank you so much for taking the time to download this episode. I really appreciate it. For those who are listening to this episode the very first time, Hello and thank you. My name is Emiko Rasmussen and I am your host. As you have noticed, that we are moving into season three, and I have really thought about what really, what I really want to share and teach and all that, right? And there is this one specific moment that I realized wow. I have changed a lot. So, today I wanted to talk about how living in the US has changed myself and in a good way, and how you can learn a lesson from it and apply to your, your career. You know, for if you are living in Japan, wanted to work in an environment where You are going to be working with people from different countries, you're definitely going to stay tuned. And also, of course, those people who are living in the US or in other countries working in an environment where you, as Japanese, are the minority, this is going to be a really, really good episode. Okay, super excited. Okay, so I have, I went back to Japan to visit my family and Most importantly, I also attended my, one of my great friend's wedding. I originally told her no, but I, I thought about it. I'm like, hey, but I really want to go. So my heart was telling me, you should go. Like, I should go. And my brain, like, no, your mom, you have kids. You can't pull her, you know, pull my, the, especially older daughter from school and money and everything. And I, 
I talked to several of my friends too, and everybody was really telling me like, well, if you want to go, you should go. And I'm like, yeah. And then I talked to some of the moms who are in, who has a school age. They said, well, you should put a priority for your kids. You know, first couple of weeks are very important. I'm like, oh gosh. But I decided to go, and I'm so glad that I went. Okay, so while I was in Japan, so many people asked me this question. The question was, So this topic is something that I have already sent to you guys for those who are signed up for my newsletter for October. But I'm actually going to deep go really, really deep into this. So everybody asked me, many people asked me. And of course, I, I saw a lot of things and I, I was shocked. Or I wowed, like, oh, wow, like, this has changed. So, like, for example, um, less people, I'm not a smoker. So when people smoke, I notice a lot. But for this time, for some reason, I noticed that there are less people who are smoking on the street. And I didn't really see any cigarettes um, on the street. So I thought that that was really great. And also, more restaurants are... Uh, smoke free or it's um, so those who smoke they have a specific area designated area that is outside of the restaurant so I thought that it was really really great secondly I maybe because I'm a mom I have noticed a lot but there are more places that are family or kids friendly <laughs> one place that I went with my friends I really wanted to take my girls to karaoke place in English, I don't know why, but people say karaoke. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go with karaoke because I'm speaking in English. Anyway, so when we went there,、uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm not a good singer. I don't really sing. And so that's why I haven't really gone. I mean, I haven't, I don't even know when was the last time that I went besides this last trip. I wanna say I was maybe 17 or something. So, Yeah, yeah, so that's a long, long, long time like what, 15 years? And I was thinking, like, oh, you're gonna look for the song title and then you're gonna, you know, go through with the book, like the heavy book, and you're gonna punch in the number. No, <laughs> that's not, it was like a culture shock to me. Now, it, each room has a like iPad almost, and you just type the title or singer and search, you know. And then you hit send. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> I am so behind. <laughs> But, anyways, and、uh, the place was obviously the, the room that we used was non smoking. So, that's you know, part of what I talked about. But、uh, they also had like a little baby,、uh, like a floor mat. They also had toys and everything. So, it was a really, really cool experience for me. I also noticed that there are a lot of messages around.、Uh, well, I don't know. So I was watching some of the, the、uh, Japanese drama and、uh, some like those、uh, advertisements and all that stuff. And I saw messages like, Honto no jibun o, or jibun o taisetsu ni, or jibun no yari tai koto. And I thought that this message is very positive and, and I really liked it. So, those are things that I, I was very surprised or noticed the, the difference. But what I was really surprised about was about myself. I simply noticed the way how I see Japan is, was, is completely different. Like, okay, so you're thinking, like, what do you mean? So,、um, I want you to. I've already explained to this in the newsletter. So, for those of you who have met, I apologize, I'm kind of repeating. But so, there are two types of glasses that I want you to think. So, glasses number one is kind of like the insider glasses. So, you are seeing things from the Japanese perspective, which you think everything is all normal. You just see things that everything is normal, everything is done as you expected. So, it's like, you know, everything is like, atari mae joshiki. Uh, right? And the other glasses is glasses number two. It has a no filter, 
So you are seeing things from the other person's point of view, or you are seeing Japan from outside. So, 当たり前っていう常識が全くなくて、本当にすべてをなんか外からも新しい感じで見てる感じがしました。So obviously,、um, there are more time that I was wearing glasses number two, right? So, and then that this is because I have been away from my country for a long time, and I am also learn a skill. And I didn't realize what it is, but there was a click. I'm like, oh, this is it. This is the skill that I have earned. Which is or mastered, which is to be able to remove my my glass、uh, glasses number one, which is my Japanese filter, right?、Um, and then I was able to put、uh, glasses number two, which has no filter, but be able to see things from different point of view and noticing the difference and、uh, realizing. Okay, well, the cultural value for this person has a little bit different than me. It's, you know those things, and of course, I'm not saying you cannot wear glasses number one all the time. That's not what I'm saying.、Um, and in fact, I definitely I I enjoyed seeing things from the glasses number one, and really enjoyed like ah,、oh, 懐かしい本当にそうだよねこれみたいな right. So I definitely had had that moment of wearing number one glasses and.、Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so cool because this is something that I used to do, and I really love seeing these things. All right, so here is the thing: what is the lesson here? As I told you, when you're working in a cross-cultural working environment, especially where you are the minority, then you have to be able to remove your number one glasses. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm so sorry. I I cannot believe that I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. But when I say number one and number two, I just cannot. I cannot stop thinking about my kids going to number one, number two, the bathroom. I'm so sorry, but I had to mention this like really quickly. Okay, go back. So number one, be able to remove your number one glasses. Number two, be able to wear one. Right, number、uh, wear number two glasses, which has no filter, and it's more like you're seeing things from outside perspective. Number three, be aware of the differences and recognizing what is working and not working in terms of communication. Number four, understand the why. Why I am facing this challenge? Is it what kind of what kind of barriers that I am facing? Right. So being able to remove number one and number two,、uh, wearing number two, and then.、Um, Then you're gonna be able to see the difference in recognizing, right? So、um, let's see. If you don't, so if you don't remove your number one glasses, which is the Japanese perspective, you will still notice the difference. But because you're not wearing number two, you are still like expecting things to be done in your way, or you are still expecting certain things. Based on your own, your own common sense. As a result, you you get to you get frustrated, or other people will get frustrated, and then there's a miscommunication, or you are thinking like, oh well, it seems like I whatever I'm trying to do isn't working, or well, I can't believe American people are always this and so rude, or. Chinese people, or that, or you know those type of things. So, this is something that I wish somebody had told me like long, long, long time ago. But、um, this message is for those who are still kind of like learning English. We as Japanese work really, really hard to learn the language, right? But we forget to learn the cross-cultural competence. So be able to understand the culture, be able to understand who you are as Japanese, and and how those cultural value is affecting in a good way and a bad way. So 
those for those who are a repeat listener for her confidence her way podcast, you know what? There is a question about what is the one cult cultural value that you like, and then the cultural value that you you need to adjust. This is where you are really using these glasses, right? So you are using number one and seeing things as Japanese, and then things that you need to adjust. You definitely have to be able to remove your number one glasses, and then wear the number two glasses. So that way, you know you are you're noticing things, and then okay, so this isn't working, and then this mindset or this thinking doesn't work. So I need to adjust and change it in a way where I can maybe meet in the middle or something like that. And then I will talk more about it, especially like the term cross cultural and intercultural. I know these are really it's like very similar. But it's there are actually two different meanings. I even have to look it up and <laughs> learn what it is. So I will definitely do another another episode, possibly next episode, so that way you will have a really really good understanding of the cross cultural and an intercultural as well. But yes,、yeah, so this is the lesson that I have learned, and I think this is really valuable. I. I felt there are certain times that I definitely felt confident.、Um, it's not just because I have been working for a long time, but there is a moment that I had that like realization, like aha, like oh my gosh, I really need to understand who I am as Japanese as well. Otherwise, I am not going to be able to communicate well, and I cannot talk about myself well. Because as Japanese, you know, we tend to be very reserved, and we're not supposed to be showing off the skills and all that. But that does not work for the country where I'm living in. So、um, I'm not telling you to learn and know all about the culture that you are living in right now. For those who are living outside of Japan, that's not what I'm saying. But if you are able to remove your glasses, number one, and、uh, Did I say glasses? Glasses. Ah,、oh, the L and R.、Um, glasses number one, and be able to wear the number two glasses. Then you're gonna be able to do that. So, all right. So that is all for today. Please make sure that you are checking out my updated worksheet. It is finding your gifted talent. I have added another like layer to it so that you really understand what I am talking about. And also join her confidence her way community. It's free. Both are free. The worksheet is free, and joining the community is also free. And I am all, I am gonna do more live lessons, actually specifically in the community, so that way I can talk more about private stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, and I will catch you for the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. Make sure to subscribe to Her Confidence Her Way podcast and leave a review, which will help this podcast to be more visible, so that other women can find this podcast easily. For free monthly newsletter, free private Her Confidence Her Way community, and learn how you can get free weekly lesson to help you build your self confidence, go to www.theemmystyle.com. Ladies, you don't need a permission from someone else to believe yourself. Just be you, because you are amazing. Let's support each other and keep on building your confidence.